Hey there, Scorpios and Grand Rising Scorpios. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back for a beautiful uh, Magical March general love reading. It is a general. Shout out to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios of the world. The sun is shining on you, Scorpios. Okay, so you need to know that you should feel uh, vibrant. You may be feeling kind of pushed and pulled, uh, but it's just to get you to your higher um, call here, your higher purpose. For some of you guys, your purpose is to be way much more grander than what you've ever even imagined or what you may have already gone through or what you even think that you can have and go through. OK, so it is a very, very magical time for Scorpios, but you have to think that way. You don't you don't have to wait for it to happen. Your thinking is going to manifest it quicker here, Scorpio. So shout out to you. I hope this video finds you manifesting Scorpio in a good way. Uh, I feel like there's some things that may um it's almost like spirit is building your energy, building you uh, from the inside so that you can, because, you know, is the, the challenges, they come, those situations, those unexpected phone calls, uh, unexpected disagreements, unexpected whatever it is. Because as a Scorpio, what I'm finding out about myself is sometimes I don't be good with the unexpected, uh, unexpected things like, for instance, the tower moment. For some of you, you guys, you got something that's about to catch you off guard. Now, with this two of cups, it can represents not only a, a romantic relationship, but and you also have the star card, Aquarius energy. So for some of you guys here, you're going to get an opportunity to repair something. Either with a family member. Out of nowhere, let's say you may be having some type of conversation and something comes up that you have to address. You could you could be the one that brings it up because, you know, you are out of nowhere, but it could be one of those situations that comes out of nowhere. But it's not to hurt you is to bring you to something better or to bring your wishes in or to bring some healing so that you can release past energy. Get out of your head about certain things. Stop overthinking things. Stop living in fear. Could be you or somebody you're dealing with too, Scorpios. But once again, there is always love surrounding Scorpios here. So shout out to you. Shout out to my beautiful, amazing Scorpios family. It's all about the Scorpios love over here. I hope you are in love and you ain't got to be had nobody to be in love. So you could be in love with the love, not the illusion of love, but the actual energy of love is what I feel you have and should be in. So uh, this is a general, so it's not going to resonate for every beautiful, amazing, phenomenal Scorpios of the world. You are so beautiful. I was thinking about this song. Uh, what was it? Because I just looked. It was the Bee Gees. Is that it? No, it's not. That's just how I feel. I feel for you, baby. Or they say, Scorpio, that's how, that's just how much. That's just how much. That's just how much. It's like somebody says, I feel for you, Scorpio. That's how I feel. It's like somebody is feeling you just that much. It's almost like somebody saying, Scorpio, I really, really feel something for you. And you're like, for real? How much? They said, just how much? That's how much? They said, that's how much? <laughs> they say, this is how much I feel for you, Scorpio. And you like, how much? Uh, how much did you say? I, I said, uh, uh, I did. Uh, well, hey, I didn't hear you. How much did you say? This much? And they say, yes, that's just how much. <laughs> that's what I feel. But that's what I feel, though. You're not going to penalize me because that's what I feel. That's what I see. Somebody really, really feels. I'm talking about they really, really feel something for you. It is deep. But, you know, when you deal with a Scorpio, you got to be prepared to go deep because Scorpio is deep. And usually you're a little too deep for the typical person because they ain't got time. <laughs> they don't have time for all that deep stuff. Scorpio, they, they, they like to stay on the surface where it's, where it's safe. But we can't. Ain't that something? Because now that I'm thinking about it, even in the water here, especially if you're in the water, you're swimming, you feel safe because you can see what's down beneath. But isn't it, isn't it something that Scorpio intentionally that goes to that part? 
because I remember I remember so many things about uh, my 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 inquisitiveness, not even knowing about who I really am as a water sign, let alone a person, y'all. <laughs> I knew I was special, but I didn't know how special I really, really am. And so I remember everybody that I ever worked with, I would always play as some type of counselor, but I didn't mean no harm, but I'm just asking questions. And they like, no, <laughs> professor, you know, but I didn't mean any harm, but I, I know that because now when I get older and I, I go deep with a person, because if you if you if you are impact of some type of way that you can feel the energy of a person and then especially as a Scorpio, you you don't act like you don't see it. Usually when you see you're going to identify here in you usually can soothe it a little bit here because you are royal. You come from the, the royal lion line here. So you're not like everybody else. Contrary to what your situations in your past and your own self be telling you, you're not even from here. So spirit is telling you, really, you need to check your mind, especially if your mind is not aligned to who you know you really are. Because sometimes what you see, what you experience, what you taste here and all those things like that, it ain't even real. It's just it's just throwing it out there to you if so to see if you're going to believe it because it's not true. And I ain't even clarified this, but Spirit said it's a tall tale. It's a lie. It's only the truth when you give it the energy to manifest here. But Spirit is saying if you're focusing on the right thing and you know that who you come from, you know your purpose, in spite of all of the adversity, all of the challenges, all this relationship, the money, the career, the family, the dog, the cat, the loneliness, the desires of a Scorpio, yeah. It's like, who can I find that right one? All of those things mean nothing compared to the actual experience that we're here. Because don't you know that it doesn't matter what you go through or what you what challenges you face? Your roots are planted firmly. See, look at that. It said roots of abundance. See? See, you don't even have to worry about it. But I'm going to read this for you. These two right here. Uh, quieting your inner man because you don't forget who you are, child. But sometimes you have to quiet that inner man so that you can hear something. So let's see. <clears throat> so quieting, it's the number 32. It came out in this order, 32, quieting the mind, going to the Zen place where you can disconnect from all of the lies and all of the temptation, all of them pork fried ribs and all of those <laughs> chopped beef sandwiches, all of those chicken wings and fried chicken legs and love and life and this and that and that and this and ups and downs and rounds and rounds and around and here we come again. All of that and then some. Quieting your mind. So you know you cannot necessarily quiet the external, but you can get to such a spiritual place where you are blocking it out because you are in this spiritual realm where you are safe and protected. And that's where you start really growing. Because the only way you really grow is you got to grow spiritually first. I don't care about how you look good on the outside. You look, you know, all those things. It's an inner growth because remember, we are spiritual beings having human experience. So we can't get so caught up on the physical either. Even though why we hit it feels so good, don't it? <laughs> Boy, don't it. <laughs> so the quieting, <clears throat> the mind, it says, for Scorpios, I'm going to read the gist of it. I ain't going to read it all. It says, so it says meditation as a commitment, the need for silence, peace within, despite chaotic outer conditions, Letting go of the monkey mind mindfulness. Okay, letting go of that monkey. <laughs> they call it the monkey mind. You all up on the monkey mind. <laughs> Woo, Scorpio. So it tells you. <clears throat> so it says Scorpios today requires you to take in. Hold on. Let me get my little thing. So, yeah, uh, today requires you to take an internal break and go to that silent space to regroup. Meditate on the stillness within. Choose a peaceful mind and nothing else. You will be amazed by how easily everything falls into place once you do. Quieting your mind, taking a hold of yourself. 
because you can be pulled in so many different directions and you ain't even had the time to deal with your own stuff. You're dealing with other folks that you to pass by and whatever, whatever, whatever. But at the same time, so we have to choose our battles. We can't save the whole world if we if we if we're hanging if we are hanging on a thring now a thring I said a thring if we are hanging on thrings, okay. Then how can we help anybody else? We're just gonna get dug deeper and deeper and deeper. But Scorpio is telling you to quiet your inner man so that you can hear and so that you can remind yourself lovingly who the heck you really really are in this walk. Ten thirty one Scorpios. Halloween babies, number 16 and number 32, you have a five and a seven. So there is growth. It is growing, but you know, you're learning the lessons. We're learning our lessons along the way. And it really is really is funny that it really is a lesson until you get hurt. <laughs> then it ain't funny or fun no more, huh? But as long as everything makes you laugh and you feel safe, you feel bold and daring like you can conquer the world, as soon as that other part of the same element of love, because those are the things that do mature you so that you can be mature about something like love. Because you can love a person. You can love a person and really not actually be in love with them. I feel like that. But anyway, the royal you. It says challenges in your life at this time. What do you mean? Your concept is sovereignty, uh, responsibility, self-confidence, self-rule, ownership of your feelings and actions, a quiet sense of empowerment, being self-aware, not allowing outside influences out of alignment with your truth. So challenges in your life at this time, no matter how large or small, must be met with a measured response. So if life sends you a challenge, Scorpio, can you speak up and set your boundaries with grace and surety? Or uh, Spirit said, can you at least <clears throat> uh, leave them with a pulse? I'm just saying, they, they, so they don't get a chance to try their life again. So just because they did you wrong, it's over for, for real, for real. They, they don't get a chance at all. <laughs> See? Because <laughs> they might want to come back around or you might realize something else. I'm just saying here. It's a way. It's like it's, it's the spirit is telling you, you may be justified in how you're feeling. It, the, the, the emotions and the feelings that, that, that triggers you to feel whatever feeling you may be feeling may be actually justified and you may be correct in feeling that way but it's a way to express it I feel like spirit is saying so it's, it's a certain way you are to handle it because you can handle it in grace you don't have to stoop to your situation's level Ooh, say amen <laughs> That's what Spirit said with the royal you. Spirit said they don't need the ratchet Scorpio with the stanger every time. You know who you are and you are. See, now this is giving off emperor and empress energy. Don't you get the vibe? The royal you. Let me continue. See, because Spirit is telling you, you, it ain't what they call you. It's what you answer to at this point because it doesn't matter what they, it, what it, whatever it is may be. Remember, you are planted firmly. You are regardless. I'm just saying you can believe what you want to believe. I'm just telling what spirit is telling me to tell you. And those who have the ear, you know, you're going to receive it. Other than that, you know what you're going to get, what you what you're looking for. And I know that there's so much information out here, especially when you are connecting spiritually. You're going to get all the answers that you need. Hopefully these readings will bring you some type of clarity and confirmation to what you're already setting your intentions to find out. It's like we're connected together for a reason, but at the same time, we all have to in individually do our walk. We do. And yeah, it get lonely because everybody ain't all on that spiritual ascension thing. You know, they, they're carnal minded, but it's okay. You can have it. You can have it all while you're here, can't you? Yeah. So we're saying we're going to get it. So it's telling you, calm, intelligent leadership is called for now. Sovereigns know when to plan their battles, so stay out of unnecessary squirmishes and strategically wield your personal power. 
So Scorpios, now is the time to lead from the heart, from your authenticity and integrity. Hold your Scorpio head high, honey, and know your worth. That is the mark of a true sovereign. All right. And that's on point blank, period. So once again, it ain't what they call you. No, no. It's what you answer to. Yeah. And how you answer it too. Because remember, you don't have anything to prove you are just that you are. Okay. So be in it because you are firm too. That's partnership. You ain't alone. That's help. So you got a help made here. It's like, don't believe the hype, calm yourself, get your energy together so that you can keep yourself calm. Cause you may have people trying you sometime. It, that, that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna get you where you need to be. It's those challenges. We want it to be easy all the time, but then we're gonna miss the lessons. When it gets too easy, we get comfortable. So when things start shaking up, it's because it's something greater that you're supposed to be doing or that anybody is supposed to be doing. All right. <laughs> so check it out. Those of your overall energy is the queen of pentacles. Ground. Do you remember we just saw that uh, roots being uh, being planted firmly here? Let me get, get it out here. See, queen of pentacles is showing up for you. So I know when that queen of pentacles is showing up, it's about that. It's about your uh, desires. It's about uh, doing things for Scorpio. It's about your livelihood. It's about commitments. It's about actually being looked upon like you are somebody here who is of good substance. You're wise. You can hold your own. You can run a freaking household. See, there it is. Roots of abundance here. That's the queen of Pentacles energy. That's your overall energy. I know where the other cards went. So let's continue. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariots, Cancer Energy, moving towards victory and success. So you're doing very, very good. You looked up on like you got it together. So you guys could really be grounding yourself. You could really be humbling your energy, especially if you are staying to yourself and you're not responding to stuff. See, now that's one of the biggest things. And that's one of the things I'm proud to say as a Scorpio, I am learning even as a mother and a grandmother. People ain't always asking for your Scorpio help. <laughs> if they ain't asking for your Scorpio help, stop. Because you know you're going to do too much and then you're going to be drained some type of way. So it's almost like taking control over your life to a place where you can get things accomplished for yourself without interruptions here, Scorpios. You got the page of Pentacle. Ooh, now see. When love calls for a Scorpio. I guess I'm just playing. Page of Pentacles. I don't know, but you got some type of good news. So you're moving towards good news. Things may be may be uh, about to pick up. You could get some type of word of something tangible or something real, something that you can use. You may you may end up passing by a, somebody who is a moving sale, and they could you could buy something for the little of nothing here. Look, y'all, don't don't go to sleep on those going uh, moving relocating. Um, garages. I mean, man, back in the day, I used to go to. I mean, but they used to have the good ones. Now, just like, are you? Why don't you just just take it out somewhere and just burn it? I mean, you know, it's just like unreal. Some of this stuff is not even worth it. But back in my day, you used to go to these outside events and everybody had their tables out, and then you have somebody grilling something, and you know what I'm saying? And you get you get to walk from stall to stall to stall and just choose. It was like a treasure hunt. I used to love them. Those little inside antique stores where you can find those little goodies, those little gems. Oh, my God. I love that. I love that because that's how I grew up. I could budget stuff, but you could find some nice good deals. So it's almost like a gem, a hidden gem. So, so you could be a hidden gem, Scorpios. Look, don't come for me. I'm just saying, you. didn't y'all just hear about all this good energy you in and all this stuff? Okay, I'm just saying, don't. I, look, I, I'm just a messenger. They go a king of swords, though. <laughs> Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, three of wands. Somebody's waiting to take action, knight of swords. Then you may not see it coming because they go to tower card because they go to the <laughs> tower card again. Somebody's about to take action towards you that you're not going to see coming. All right, now, I'm just saying, don't look, okay? You remember who run things. You're the, your roots are planted. You have a lot of... Ooh, see... 
There it is. Couldn't we be happily ever after? You actually could be happily ever after, Scorpios. You could. You know you could. You sitting in the right energy, Queen of Pentacles, so you know you already know. But some of y'all, y'all just been practicing to y'all husband or to y'all wife come. I'm saying you've been playing the role the whole time. You've just been practicing until that person comes. You're doing all these things that a wife would do for her spouse, or you're doing all these things in your relationships like you masculine would do for your significant other, your spouse. So now it's time to actually do it. So someone could be looking at you and observing you, especially if it's somebody that, that you already know. They know you are good quality. They know, they know you how to, they, they know you know how to uh, hold it down. <laughs> I don't know why they can't see. I'm telling you how they know, cause cause you got the ace of pentacles. See? Y'all in this air sign, I thought y'all, I thought y'all had to look. They go to Justice card and the Three of Cups. There they go with this type of stuff. Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, a Strength card. But there's a Justice card here. See, it's come back a Libra energy. So you have the Chariot and the Ten of Cups. That's you. Scorpios, well, I don't want this to be too long. I'm trying to just do like 30 minutes because I get to talking because I be seeing it. Ooh, now who is this? Is that the strength card? Oh. Four Pentacles. Somebody holding back from a situation. There is temperance. They go to Three of Cups. Somebody want to hang out or talk. They go to page of source, so they're going to watch you. See, that it go with that type of energy. They say, excuse me, miss, what is your name? Where are you from? And possibly, can I take you out tonight? To the movies, to the park. I have your home before it's dark. Can I take you out tonight? <laughs> Somebody may want to take you out tonight. It's going to be acting all bougie with this Queen of Pentacles. God dang it. They're trying to take you out. Jeez. <laughs> you got a whole ten of cups, ace of Pentacles here. Nah, don't act like you too good for this love, honey. Could be dealing with an air sign here. So you got, let's say you got the chariot. You got Sagittarius, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You got the Scorpio, Page of Swords, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, towards Page of Pentacles, towards Virgo and Capricorn. And you have the, um, healing coming back together, balancing things out. So what's up with this uh, Queen of Swords for Scorpios? Y'all, hold on. Pardon me. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What's up with this Queen of Pentacles for Scorpios, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? You sitting all firm and all, you know, poised and things, and they sitting there like, I want to talk. And you're like, boy, I don't know. It, it could be a different shift in your energy. You may be focusing on other things that go to Star Card, though. Aquarius, you could be dealing with Aquarius, or, you, or your wishes are about to come true, or you're manifesting here. Page of Cups. Or was it the Six of Cups? Oof. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning around in your favor. Ooh, they go a King of Pentacles, baby. Ooh. They go the Tower. And the freaking Two of Cups. Ooh. The Wheel of Fortune. Look who, look who finna bring into your life. Because you already got the Queen of Pentacles with the Star card. You remember, that's your overall energy, but you got that King of Swords here, too. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, a fixed sign. Could be Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or Taurus. See? And you got the Tower card. Ooh, Tower card and the Two of Cups. Look. And the freaking Justice card. So karma is bringing, the Wheel of Fortune is changing things around. It's bringing in some fresh energy here. It's got to be based on something that you have done. You're getting something back. You ain't going to see this coming, though, I don't feel like, or this is going to be a pleasant surprise, or... Man, 
justice. It's like it all had to come down in order for something good to happen. This is something that some of y'all have been wishing for with this. Um, everything you've been wishing for, you about to get it. I feel like this will of fortune, you got good luck. You got good karma, divine time and fake destiny. When love comes, you Scorpios, you better answer. You better answer. Don't let it slip away. Because love may not ever come again. Not like this. It's going to always come again. But it ain't going to come this good. It, may, it could. But who wants to wait? Because with the Justice card, it must be really, 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 really good. Because you do have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, I hope. Ooh, 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 ooh. Justice here. You're going to get something here, Scorpio, you've always desired. Some of y'all going to be married because I keep seeing wedding and marriage. Now, it doesn't matter about what's going on externally because you could be dealing with somebody who's wedding or marriage or something like that. But you're going to get your your spouse and it's going to be a, a partnership, especially with this two of cups, king and queen of Pentacles. This is date. Uh, this is fate. This is destiny. This is written in the stars. It's supposed to happen. So it's like you, you, you just, you just be open to it. Cause some of you guys really are going to start thinking more of a partnership instead of, you know, and, and, and let the other things happen instead of pursuing emotional, romantic relationships. Y'all going to start having more business propositions. And most of you guys are going to get in that energy because you're already showing up in it where you ain't just saying, well, I wonder, can he love me? Y'all ain't going to be thinking about that. Cause it ain't time for that baby. It's time to, it's time to build something. It's time to, a uh, it's time for you to see. It's time to build something. I know that that's what it is because where your card is, it says, well, wait, what's the card? It's telling you everything right here. This is what it's about. See? There it is. Roots of abundance. That's why you got a king and a queen of pentacles with the will of fortune, with the two of cups in the tower and the uh, star card. Because some of y'all wishes are about to come true. Something that you've always, something that you've dreamed of, something that you've manifested here, Scorpio, it's coming. I'm telling you, something is coming because there it is. I just clarified with that roots of abundance right there. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Now, what's up with the chariot for Scorpio? Well, I'm talking too much, but that's it. Cancer energy. Moving towards victory and success. Somebody is determined. Someone is focused on their prize and they're going for it. Eight of cups in the reverse. For some of you guys here, somebody here may feel like there is uh, things that's unresolved that needs to be addressed. Or for some of you guys, you're breaking free from certain things. You're moving on, but you may still have some type of emotional attachment there, though. But, but that's probably why Spirit is saying don't respond. Let it go. You remember that's what Spirit is... What's this y'all reading? <laughs> I forgot. Wait a minute. I did so bad. It don't come for me. So you have hold on y'all. I'm already 28 minutes in, y'all, and I don't even see the other card. I know you got tall tail, not believing it. I'm gonna have to go back and see it. But anyway, you do have roots of abundance that I know. And like I said, I feel like this is lining up with that king and that queen of pentacles here. Especially with that will of fortune, Scorpio, something has always been destined. For some of you guys, you're going to achieve a lot of success in a union. A union is going to bring a lot of success in a union. Y'all going to work better. Y'all going to work good together. I feel like if it's somebody you've been in opposition with, y'all going to work better together in a team. I feel like for somebody, the reason why y'all was in so, such big of an opposition, because that wasn't y'all role. Y'all just need to learn how to release control and then come together in a in a connection. Because you may have been used to doing everything on your own by yourself, and they may have been used to doing everything on their own. And to, to merge together has been hard for both of y'all, okay? Because it don't happen overnight is what Spirit is saying. It takes time. It has to cultivate it. But you have to be patient and be in that raw energy like you know that everything is good for you, especially with your roots of abundance here. It's almost like, you do you really know who you are? Well, then you're not going to be sweating. You're going to relax. 
You're going to relax. I ain't say stop living your life. Oh, yes, please continue to live your life because there's still other things to focus on that's going to add value to you. You know, when you focus on one thing too much and it, it don't give you what you want, then you're going to start self-sabotaging it. That's how we do as people. You know, that's how we made. <laughs> but when you're staying connected spiritually and you know what it's all about, Scorpio, then you can breathe and just allow to just experience what this lesson has to offer. All right. So I don't, I don't know where it is, but I know you got the roots of abundance and I feel like that's, that's, that's the main, that's the main gist of it all. I'm just saying here. All right. So yeah. So the chariot here, let me continue because I'm talking because I, it's just a nice reading. It's just like, it's like, it's like, like I said, for somebody it wasn't going to work anyway because y'all needed to come together, but it was division here. It's time for unions to happen. It's time to put that work in in partnerships and build something together. So what Spirit is telling you, you know, don't think about the love. You want a loving relationship, but don't just focus on that because you got other things that, that you can really benefit from that you know you're going to benefit from. Nine of ones in the reverse. I don't know if it's time for you to let go of, of, of doubt. That go to lover's car. Some of y'all scared to uh, love or open up to somebody. But it don't matter, Spirit, so you're going to make up your mind anyway because something is coming. Once again, for some of y'all Scorpios, with the star card, it's what you have manifested. <laughs> but when it finally starts getting here, y'all may start getting cold feet because it could be very, very intense, especially with all this high vibrational energy. King, Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the star card, the tower card, the temperance card, the ten of cups. Oh, it's a lot going on. So why is the page of Pentacles here for Scorpios? Clarify this good news coming in. Uh, something tangible, something that you can feel. You may get a bonus. You may win a two. Ooh, wee. I said, ooh, we child, yeah. I bet that's the same one who watching you too. The emperor with the food card. You got Aries, Aries, baby. They probably got Aries all in their chart, honey. Mm-hmm. And they strutting their stuff and they, they passing by you burping saying, I ain't going nowhere. You thought I was gone. <laughs> Here they come wanting to talk to you. It could be somebody that you don't even know. It could be. They go that page of Pentacles again. They go that four of cups. You may, for some of y'all, you may start having more and more experience and more and more opportunities. So you're going to have so many people coming at you that when they do come in your life, you're going to be so guarded because so many people pulling at you, especially in this queen of Pentacles. For some of y'all, y'all may be financially supporting other people and, and people are always coming to you for something here. And you, by the time they make it to you, like, look here, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know for Pentacles, <laughs> ma'am. I didn't say it. I'm just saying, I don't know. <laughs> So let's check out that King of Swords, though. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's up with the King of Swords for Scorpio? Clarify the King of Swords. Now, what, why are you in here? Again, I mean, again, we already see the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, what's up with this King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords here for Scorpio? Ooh. Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. There's somebody here, you, you racing through their mind, or somebody could be passing by your neighborhood, too, Scorpio. Ooh, could be a... a <laughs> Oh my God, what's up with this King of Swords? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is this King of Swords here for Scorpio Spirit? Why is he here? Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to make things right. There they go again. Because somebody is not happy. Somebody wants happiness. Somebody wants the happiness that you give them. And for somebody, it's, it's, it's going to make them happy by doing something good for you, okay? Somebody's going to somebody's gonna take a lot of joy out of being kind or generous towards you, okay? That's what I see. It's like, you know what, Spirit, I'm not talking about this man. It's going to make somebody's day just to do something nice for you. It's what I'm getting, okay? It's going to make their day, okay? Two of swords in the reverse. It could be some, could be you in denial, not seeing it, or could just could be them getting out of a, a, a mind, a mind uh, stump here. Because this could have been somebody here who's really dealing with stuff mentally. King of swords, overthinking things, going through the things here. <sighs> they could have been telling lies to them. Oh, is these the cards over here? Here they go, y'all. Here they go. See? See, I'm telling you, that's what, thank you, spirit. See? Thank you, because I know it was something. Somebody didn't know you were the royal uh, one here. 
quieten your mind. It could be that this king of swords need to quiet their mind or it could be you need to quiet your mind. Okay. Stop thinking, overthinking things here, standing your power here. And if somebody is about to reach out to you, spirit is asking you, who are you really? Do you know who you are? You know, uh, all you have to do is keep, stay in your elegance, stay in your royalty, uh, stay in that high vibrational energy, Scorpio, quiet your mind and hold your peace and, and things so that you can manifest a desired outcome. Because I feel like you got a lot of power right now, especially if somebody's coming to you for some type of advice or something. It's, it's almost like you're kind of being tested here. Because you can have a lot here. So why is the Ten of Cups? So now give me one more card for this King of Swords. What's up this King of Swords for Scorpio's King of Swords? Oh, snap. <laughs> That's why Spirit said it ain't what they call you. It's what you answer to. <laughs> and there go that Queen of Swords. You can't always eye to eye them. Once again, there is a need to leave someone a pulse. Okay? You can't take everybody out. Some people deserve another chance in life. Okay? So why is this Page of Swords showing up for Scorpios? Who is watching who? Who is doing their research? Who is checking up on the other? Who passing by who house, perhaps? Page of Swords here. Mm. Judgment. Somebody making up their mind that what? Somebody is coming up with conclusions. Somebody is researching you or somebody could have been judging you. Mm. King of Swords in the reverse. Ooh, this person is, can't help themselves. See there? I get it now, guy. Here it is again. They're watching you, Scorpios. The same King of Swords here. Look how they see you. See there? They say you got some strong kneecaps. They say you got strong legs. They say you just a beautiful person here. See, they can't get over you. That's why they watching you, weirdo. See, somebody, once again, Scorpio, somebody is into you. You make them happy, but they, they cannot compete against that queen of swords. They may feel like you, you ain't going to put up with it or which you shouldn't because you're showing up as the freaking empress. You don't have to put up with it because you remember you got the emperor with the food card up here. This person finna take a leap of faith. This person finna come clean about something or they're finna get ready and free themselves. It may be something small like, you know, something. But I feel like this could actually, you got the king and the queen of pentacles. It could be somebody, somebody could be about to tell you something about something that they had going on. Or somebody could be about to come clean with you and let you know how they feel. Because you got that emperor, now you got the empress. But you got that king and that queen of swords. And look, you got the king and the queen of swords, the king and the queen of pentacles, and the emperor and the emperor. So it's like ain't nobody playing no games. It's real serious here. Ain't nobody in their feelings right now. Everybody's trying to figure out what's going on, okay? But there is opportunities all around. All right, so now you got the ten of cups. What's up with the ten of cups? You're happily ever after, honey. This is moving in together, purchasing a new home. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody, uh, uh, somebody inheriting a home, taking it to a higher level of commitment, harmony restored back into your home. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Scorpios? Commitment. See? There she go again, the Queen of Pentacles. See? Now there's a house. Open up and let me into your heart. Scorpio, love is a house. Your love is a house. You got the key. They say, you got the key, baby. They say, I'm coming home every night. I know where home is. That king of wands say, you're going to get me out them that street. You keep on. <laughs> you keep on cooking them fried neck bones and things. You're going to get me out the streets. <laughs> My bad. You keep on fixing me all that healthy, good food. And I'm getting out these streets. <laughs> Somebody looking at you like, look here now. You make me want to just do something. Y'all, y'all have no idea that whoever this person is, some of y'all ain't paying this person no mind. This could be somebody that you live in the same complex. You could have some type of financial connection to this person. It could be somebody that you live, that you live in the same apartment. You could be some type of money exchange here with the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here, but... When I tell you this person is into you, they are. 
This person is not paying attention to anybody else. Child, when I tell you this person ain't paying attention to nobody else in the whole freaking world but you. See there, people trying to get this King of Wands attention, honey. But that King of Wands is stuck on you, whoever this is, see? They can't get their attention. Why? Because this person too busy. They're so into you. They don't know what they're going to do. Because they care for you. Care for you. <laughs> don't come for me. <laughs> I feel like this is my stay. So let me go on, on and channel this energy like I do, okay? You got you in their head, Scorpio. Somebody here probably started off messing with your head and now you in their head, see? And that's their karma with that judgment card. King of Swords in reverse, but they can't get you out of their head though with that Nine of Swords. And why, 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 why? I said why? Why, 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 why? Cause you the M and F and Empress, yeah, yeah, yeah. See there? <laughs> because they recognize, god dang it, that there uh that is something about that Scorpio love that is not from this realm. They say you got that other realm. Other realm love, yeah, 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 yeah. They say you got that other realm, you got that other realm, you got that other realm type of love. So they already know something different about you. <laughs> oh, let me hear you. How long is this? 41. All right, all right. Ace of Pentacles. Like I say, you, they, they ain't studying nobody else. So if anybody else trying to get this person's attention, it's going to be in vain. They trying to jump all up and down, trying to get this person's attention. Who's that? Oh, okay. But their attention is on this empress because they're an emperor. So somebody know that they don't want to settle anyway. So whoever you're dealing with, they're definitely not going to settle. They got you in mind. They just know that they're going to have to change and get their ish together. Because there's something real about this or the potential of something. Ace of Pentacles for my Scorpio. What's up with this Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> oh, there will be an extended reading for this person that you've known all your life. <laughs> yeah, Six of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Cups. They go that Temperance card. They trying to get back together again. That's where the, that's where I got the Temperance card again. Some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius. They can't stop thinking about you. For some of y'all, somebody from your past, a Sagittari Sagittarius. Okay, yeah, that, 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 that's the second kind of them. But the Sagittarius, that somebody from your past, a Sagittarius, thinking about you. And they're actually low-key wishing that they would have another opportunity with you because they feel like they have matured. It's almost like if somebody, you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they wish that they could have married you because they fantasize that if y'all was married together that, that y'all would pop it because you know Sagittarius, they, real, they, they, they like to stunt and show off. Yeah, but somebody sees you as marriage material. Ooh, there it is. Well, there it is. Ooh, there it is. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. I was wondering what was going on here. So now you got the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Temperance, and that King of Cups. There they go. See? It's they've got love. Somebody was running away from their love. And there's nothing particularly wrong. It's the feeling I feel inside. See there? They was running from that, but Spirit got them running right on back with that Six of Cups. See there? See, when love calls, there, there's, no, there's no escaping this, what it's supposed to be. But not your person, though. No, they was no quitter. They was actually trying to run away from this good energy. But lo and behold, they end up coming back because they never left. See? Somebody's, ooh, told you they in love. Ooh, they thought that they could run away from this. <laughs> but your heart said, get on back over here. Ooh, they are yours. I don't know if you want them or not, but they yours. For, some, for somebody, they're yours. All right, the four pinnacles. 
What's up with this four of pentacles for Scorpios? Now, this could be you holding on tight and holding away and holding back and saying, you know what? I don't need this or whatever you're saying. And then it could be that you may be looking at yourself like, you know what? And it could very well be this person. This person could be looking at themselves saying, you know what? Uh, I'm at a good financial place right now. You know, maybe I can start thinking about settling down because you got that ten of cups again. And then for some of y'all, y'all may be holding back. So what's up with this four of pentacles? To go to four of wands, it came right on now. So come on out with it then, see? They go to nine of wands because some of y'all feel too vulnerable with that queen of swords. Y'all like, uh-uh, because I don't want you to give me again. So there's a need to open up. You remember you got that royal energy, Scorpios, where your where your roots are are a firm foundation. Everything you can experience is, is, is to get you there. Something is definitely coming your way. It's your person here. You got the Knight of Pentacles. They slowly coming your way here, Scorpio. That's what you got. But I'm telling you, with this Empress and that Emperor here again, it is what it is, Scorpio. You're going to have to decide what you want because it's coming. See, and there they go. Knight of Swords with the... <laughs> Five of Swords in the reverse. They're, they're, they're no, they're somebody's no match towards this connection because they tried. Somebody's realizing they're no match towards your love. They, they can't resist it. They tried to, to run away from it, but they always keep coming back or they never even leave to begin with. They just be in the back quiet and watching you. That's, that's all they're going to do, you know. All right, Temperance here. Why is Temperance here? Sagittarius energy. You got soulmate energy, you got Pisces manifesting something, really, really thinking, really yearning, really desiring. There's an emotional feeling that someone has towards you. They are in their feelings, loving. See, they say you, they sunshine, baby. Could be a Leo. Somebody say, ain't no sunshine since you gone. Scorpio, there it is again, the death card. Could be another Scorpio. See, but they want it back. See there? Somebody said, can we start all over again? I was just wondering. I mean, you can't do them to tell me yes or no what your mean self. That's what they're saying. They said, but I don't care. I risk it. That emperor said, you don't scare them because they, they want something. They say, you know what? I ain't even worried about that because I feel like it's worth the risk because I'm going to be happy in the end. So for some of y'all, you got somebody here once again, Scorpio's looking at you. Why y'all done went on? Why? Because you looking good. See? You looking good and you ain't chasing after them. You kind of mean with it. And the only thing it's doing is making them want you even more. But when you don't give them attention, it does make them feel like they losing the world with this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Because if they even think that you're really, really moving on away from them, especially if you ain't showing no love towards them like you used to, you look like you only focus on your life. You're taking action. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're smelling good. And they catch it all. So, yeah, this is somebody here who does not want to be outside of your life. But in order to be a part of your life, they're going to have to look at things totally different realistically and stop being a jerk and stop acting like the world revolves around you. If you got somebody special, treat them like they special and absolutely take a leap of faith to see how it could really, really be something because it could. All you got to do, cross watch your ex and even Scorpio, is don't play them games. Be real and honest. And if you feel like you know that you, this person is not going to give you that, don't hold them accountable. Move on for something beautiful and better. Because you know at the end of the day, they're going to always come checking for you. But luckily for you, this person, whoever they are, they're going to do it. Because you got the fool card next to that emperor. It's almost like put up or shut up now. Ain't nobody trying to hear nothing you got to say. I see you looking. Because they looking at you, you ain't looking for, at them and you know why. <laughs> oh, no, they pull you some of these manifestations, these affirmation cards. I keep forgetting every time it's the end of the read. But I'm telling you, you got it going on. You remember, you're the royal one. Don't let nobody make you feel like you're the peasant one because that's a lie. All right? So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful, amazing Scorpios? You are beautiful. If this soul made somebody, y'all gonna build something together. Y'all gonna, this is gonna come to a surprise for somebody because you're gonna be like, man, I never thought this in a million years that I, I mean, yeah, this is something that I've always wanted, but I ain't think that I can actually get this. <laughs> and you're gonna be happy, baby. Very, very, very happy, okay? And ain't nobody gonna be running from you. You ain't gonna be able to get, get rid of them, that, that, that type of love, okay? Well, y'all like Siamese twins and stuff. <laughs> Y'all gonna start finishing each other's sentences. Y'all gonna start talking through the mind, okay? <laughs> yeah. So let's see, Spirit, what messages you have 
the loner. It says, I enjoy being alone and getting in touch with my true feelings. I feel like this person, but both of y'all may be trying to isolate y'all selves because you got the king and the queen of swords, but I feel like that's going to come to an end. The friend, I am my own best friend and magnetize other loving friendships. So see, y'all going to end up attracting y'all selves to each other here. It seems like y'all mirror, you got the emperor, you got the emperor, you got the king of pentacles, you got the queen of pentacles, you got the king of swords, you got the queen of swords, you got the six of cups, you got the two of cups, all right? You got the four of wands, you got the ten of cups, you got it all. So it's almost like overcoming the challenges because this person, they got to overcome their fear of love. Because look, look at them trying to run away from all this. What else messages for Scorpios? So this person could stay to themselves a lot. The farmer, I enjoy being of service to those who deserve it. See there, Scorpio? That's the key thing. Yet you, you're not going to feel cheated when you do it from somebody who do it for somebody who you know really, really deserve it. You're going to do your good deed and you're going to move on because you know it's going to come back to you. Um, but it could be somebody coming to you wanting to plant seeds here because after all, you got the king and the queen of Pentacles here. You got the root of abundance. You got the magician card. You got the ten of cups. You got the sun. You got the knight of Pentacles with the four of wands, the four of Pentacles. So you got the op and you got the lovers, Gemini. And so you got the opportunity coming your way. Now it's up to y'all what you do with it. And then your last card I'm going to pull is the summoner. I ask for what I want because I deserve to get it. And if you don't think you deserve to get this, then you won't get it. But some of y'all, y'all know y'all deserve to get it. And this is why you're going to get it. And it ain't going to be nobody. You ain't going to have to settle. You ain't going to have to compromise. It's going to be the right one that's looking at you like you're worth it all, baby. They say you worth it all, Scorpios. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, this is your beautiful, amazing, magical March love reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.